okay so you know the rules I will pick a winner from the comments on this video or part one you have a better chance of winning if you comment on both videos but how cute is this let's get into the options from this box in honor of 500 subscribers and if you don't know this is the free item box from my Etsy shop every order comes with a free item that's something that's a lot of fun for me to do and I'll never stop doing it no matter how big the shop grows and um, yeah so this is the free item box. I just filled it back up this weekend and it's peace out summer. Hello. Hello spooky sis. Hello. 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 So let's see what we have. I love the crickets by the way. I don't know if you guys will hear them. Remind me of Mac Miller's song, Crickets. And the crickets in Just Like Magic and Positions by Ariana, which I personally think, and, and Clever News and BuzzFeed, and a lot of people, a lot of the community of fans for both think that it's like a thing, like a tribute to him. But, anyways, the crickets are not fake, they're real.
they just stopped. They're kind of a vibe though. Anyway, it's the first item is a door hanger. How cute would this be? I mean, it'd be cute for like your bedroom or your closet. But it would also be really cute for like your apartment door or like a door. So freaking cute. A beautiful witch and her magical live here. Can we take a moment? Mm-hmm. It's a spider. That's gonna get you. I'm just kidding. I would never let my pinky spider get you. My magical cat. I can't, can't control. As you have seen. <laughs> so I have a few Cute. Uh, did I say a few cute? I'm selling my channel and leaving. I'm leaving society now. <laughs> I have a few cute more things in here. A few cute. Alright. So I'm trying to make a few cute happen. It's never gonna happen. Okay. I have some cute and pins. Um, this one is like a Rosie the Riveter skull for whatever reason. And then this one says, stop, you're not ready. Get ready. It says, always creep in. Why is it the most perfect thing I've ever seen? Always creep in, never sleep in. Facts. Facts. So this is, and it's in a coffin, by the way. I know. This is a cute cup. It is so cute to drink out of, like all fall and all Christmas and all. And Easter and all for the time. Which are pretty unicorn, so bye. It's a skeleton, so we love that, obviously. Oh, you know what? If I can find more of my signature sort of... I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to like... I know other YouTubers, I'm sure, have this. I just haven't seen them wear it, so don't hate. But my signature skeleton clips, I will include that in the package. So, yeah, this is like the perfect color of pink too. Nothing was ever more excellent. That Pepto is all pink, baby. Love it. <laughs> this is like a to go tumbler for your coffee, and it's holographic. I know. And it says, if it involves cats, crystals, or coffee, count me in. How cute is that? Can you imagine if you ordered a hoodie from like a small business on Etsy and you got a handwritten thank you card and this? Like, I would be like, <laughs> take my money forever. But that hasn't happened, so maybe I'm the only one that likes this. More cute coffee cups for me. 
This one is too cute. This one's for like iced coffee or water, you know. I would not recommend putting a hot bath in here, but we love the... This one is sort of like a purpley blue holographic. And this one's more of like a true... This one's more of like a true holographic. But this one's a shake your booty. <laughs> So, those cups I feel like you can't go wrong with. I would definitely pick one of the cups because they're perfect in every way. This is really cool. Magic eight ball sort of, but a pin, and it says, "Don't count on it. Ask again later. Thumbs up." <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> Boo! Yes, yes. Maybe after pizza. Definitely not. <laughs> Don't count on it. So back to the beginning. But I love this. I've always loved Magic 8 Balls. It was such a thing in the 90s. Oh my god. Like whoever had the Magic 8 Ball on the bus ride home or like carpool. And you wanted to sit with them and... Give, give it a shake. But with this, you don't need friends. You just, you only need me. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Oh, this is cute, but this is also cute. It's also a pin, but it's a little Holographic gourd. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a cat because the rest of the stationery set is cat themed. L. Yeah. Oh, and oh my gosh, it says something. Cute. <gasps> so cute. It says stops to pet black. things I'm dying to do. How is this not like the cutest thing of life ever? Spells to cast? I love this so much. So much. a pin set. Resting witch face. Killing it. I'm a cat. Duh. Dead inside. Hashtag basic witch. I love how it says set of five inspirational pins. Did that, did that inspire you? Let's get it dead inside. Feeling inspired. It really, it really does be saying inspirational pins. And then it says resting witch face. Okay. That's what gets
gets the people going. I'm not gonna stand up. Oh, here's a different door knocker, door hanger. It says, if one door closes and another one opens, your house is probably haunted. Hilarious. I actually love that so much. vampire lips so cute and a ghost that says nobody's boo i think this is like the first thing i saw in this whole section and i was like okay i'm getting one of literally everything and sometimes as you saw too because we make a shirt and a bra and a cami and panties whatever you want that says Make your own magic like a witch. Get it? And there's a unicorn. So that's not too Harry Potter, you know. We don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. <laughs> Let me know <laughs> if you're wondering like where what does her mind do? No one truly knows, but I was thinking about when I was in seventh grade. No, sixth grade, I think, is when, or fifth grade, Harry Potter came out and, like, pretty much every church in my town was like, we don't know about that, and, yeah, it was this whole thing in the late 90s, early 2000s. this is witchcraft and now you know like 2021 doesn't that seem so wild and weird like like no it's not no it's 100% not it's Harry Potter <laughs> like when I see like witchy stuff on witch talk aka tiktok <laughs> I'm like yeah Butterbeer and stuff. Like, I love Harry Potter, so don't think that's where I was going with that. I just think it's so funny. Like, when it came out in theaters, it was like some some of my mom's like friends and like people I went to school with, it was like, are we going to let our kids go see this? Are we going to let the library at school have copies of this? Like, of Harry Potter? Yes. <laughs> Why would you not? Anyway. Okay. And then I have tons of pins. Like fashion buttons for your purse. For your backpack. <laughs> Duh. Let's see. Okay. There's two different sets. So this one says... My cat was right about you. So. Too much fun. I'm literally dead. Too much fun. Catch you later. The Grim Reaper. <laughs> Head witch. Oh, like Head witch in charge. and famous. Love that. Love that. And then just like a, a witch silhouette in black and gold. I love this set. But this one's pretty cute too. It says creep it real. Just creep it real, okay? Let's hang, and it's a bat. <laughs> Namaste, dead. 
Thanks for checking. I'm gonna stay in bed. <laughs> Bye forever. See you never. Mama stay dead. It's funny here. I would totally survive in a horror movie. I can't. Like I have to give this away because I don't deserve to wear it. There's no way. Probably not the first one. Well, <laughs> I've got Drew Barrymore and Scream vibes. So, <laughs> oh shit, it's a ghost. So cute. So now that I've made a mess out of my free item bag. <laughs> stuff really like safe and good and legit um, but Thomas is in the process of converting them all to digital files and putting them in a Google Drive for me so I could watch family videos but it's just always been a thing in my life and so I grew up loving videography and loving taking pictures um, I used to come home from the mall jeans and I would tell them like I think this would be a really good jeans ad because blah 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 and I would like set up a photo and I just I loved it um, but anyway it's called millennial marriage because it's our channel together and we feel like we have a lot of um, helpful insight about just being millennials being married and just a lot of the struggles of our generation and Gen Z we have a lot of the same struggles and a lot of the same goals and I really just wanted to make it clear that yes this is a bit of a couple's channel but also I wanted to a community for our two generations and a place where we can talk about things you may have seen in my commentary video playlist that I've talked about you know what it's like for Millennials um, my student loans and how frustrated I am with the customer service there um, and on that note 
you may also, rightfully so, be wondering, oh, what the fuck is this channel, though? Like, there's a lot going on. Well, if you could see inside my brain, you would understand, but I'm just very creative and didn't want this to be, like, just an ASMR channel, or I didn't really want to limit myself in any way. Um, I have a big vision and big dreams for this channel and I actually think it'd be really, really cool to have more channels like mine that are ASMR videos, vlogs, commentary, and true crime. Yes, those are all playlists I have. Go check it out. Um, I do also have an Ariana Grande playlist because I'm a huge fan and I buy a lot of her merch or perfume or um, recent things that she is into. Um, so, and I, I really love to connect with her fans. It's a really cool fan base. Very, very sweet people um, for the most part. I have gotten a lot of comments telling me that I should create a separate channel for my ASMR so that I have a better chance of growing and I think it's a really good idea. I mean, it's like beyond a solid idea. Um, you're hired as my social media manager. Come over. We have, we have some things to plan. <laughs> Angela Wallace or Smokey Glow for commentary. Um, I love, love, love vlogs. Oh my gosh. I like follow so many vlogs. I can't even. Um, I love, love, love ASMR. Um, my number one, of course, is GB. I adore her. Um, and yeah, I, I just kind of thought from the get go. I want this to be a channel that is everything um, I love about YouTube all in one place. So, whether you're here for the commentary, the true crime, the vlogs, or the ASMR, I sure thank you for being here. Good night. Good night.